Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ox Talks. It's Friday, April the 12th, 2024. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm doing a late video because I just could not find time today to come up for air, so to speak. Things have been so extremely busy at the office uh, with the law practice this week. It's been very difficult uh, to get it all done. And, you know, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about, whether you have your own business, which I highly suggest you explore if you haven't done so, uh, to make yourself more self-sufficient uh, and more resilient, uh, to maybe combat these tough economic times that we're going to start uh, seeing unfold even more rapidly in the coming months and year. But I'm sure you can relate, or, or whether it's just a nine-to-five job and you have family and kids. I mean, everything is always you know pulling at our time. So uh, late today, I have a whole bunch of depositions next week. Depositions I'm taking. I think I have one Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I have to prepare for those over the weekend and into next week. So it's going to be brutal. Uh, look, I'm not complaining. Uh, you know, I'm to the point now in my career where I'm very fortunate to have the work and have the clients that seek out my services. I'm to the point now where it's all word of mouth and referral work. So I'm very appreciative. And look, we all need to be grateful for what we have. And, and, and you know, whatever job we have, whatever career we have, um, you know, being grateful, being humble and appreciative, I think is very, very important right now. Uh, not enough people, from my perspective, are humble people. I see so much attitude. I know a lot of people look when they're when they're suffering, they can't pay the bills, uh, they're frustrated about their economic situation, or they're frustrated about their physical situation. Uh, you know, what whatever it is, their fitness, their diet. You know, I, that that tends to weigh on people, especially when you know we're, you know the economic. Uh, it's a climate and backdrop in this country continues to worsen. Uh, the inflation continues to go up. Cost of everything continues to go up. I'm seeing comments from people about their uh, their home insurance and their auto insurance. Look, guys, I feel the pain too. Uh, and my stuff has gone up substantially as well. It's like every time I turn around, I'm getting, I mean, I get more mail every month from these insurance companies and then things that change and changes to your policy and rate changes and it's just and disclaimers and I just, I get so tired of the volume of mail that you, I don't know, leave your comment below if you guys are experiencing the same thing relative to the amount of paper that these companies push out. And at the end of the day, look, be careful. You have an auto accident, they're looking to cancel you. In certain states, I know in California, I've talked to my insurance agent that handles all of our stuff, our home policy, our umbrella policy, our auto policy. Uh, we have everything with, with one company. And she has told me that the conditions here in California are getting brutal. These companies, even the, the, the higher tier companies, are looking for reasons just to cancel you. Uh, you, have a, you have a hiccup. You have a claim. Uh, you know, you miss a premium payment, whatever it might be. So depending on what state you're in, and obviously please give me your feedback and your comments. What are you experiencing? I think across the board, everyone's probably experiencing an uptick in their insurance rates at a time when unfortunately we are all paying more for gasoline uh, at the pump. We're all paying more for food at the grocery stores. Uh, you know, and everything seems to just be getting worse and worse. And, and look, we, we know that the inflation numbers were up this week, the CPI, the PPI, and the Fed heads, the Fed chairman, and all the other federal Fed officials uh, have come out and basically said, look it, we're in no rush. Uh, given what we're seeing on the inflation numbers, we're in no rush to cut rates. And I think, from my perspective, this is why you've been seeing the stock market pull back uh, substantially throughout the week. Now, there are some, uh, and I'll address this in a, in, a, in a second as well, there are obviously some, some well-founded fears about what's happening now and developing with the Iran situation. They're saying this weekend now there's going to be a retaliatory attack from Iran on Israel. Uh, I don't, I'll get to that in a second. I mean, I wonder how much of that is, is uh, I mean, look, 
who choreographs a move this much before they make the move? But anyway, I saw a story tonight on Zero Hedge that Iran has a hundred, uh, was it a hundred cruise missiles readied to attack uh, Israel? Okay, why would you publish that? The United States has now positioned warships off of Israel to support them. Uh, the United States has warned Iran not to attack uh, U.S. bases and U.S. facilities. Iran has put out something today saying if the United States uh, jumps in to support Israel, that uh, the United States bases will be attacked. So this thing is escalating. Months ago when this first started happening, maybe even longer than that now, well, many months ago, you know, I came out in a video and videos have said this is potentially has the makings of World War III. Uh, you know, Iran is a is a substantial, formidable uh, military presence. Uh, then you have you're going to have Russia jump in. You're going to have China jump in. You know, where's everyone going to take sides? I'm sure you guys all have your position on this. But end of the day, thousands of innocent people, families, young children, um, are, are 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 have been getting uh, slaughtered and are going to keep getting slaughtered. And you just wonder. You know where the U.S. stance is. You know on war, and uh, you know war is. Uh, I mean, it's a great way to mask the problems that we have here at home. We can't feed our veterans. We can't take care of uh, our homeless. We can't take care of even our you know, even our citizens here. They're losing their jobs by the tens of thousands, as we've talked about over the you know end of end of last year and going into this year. Uh, so, you know, our people are hurting, yet we're shipping, you know, gazillions of dollars to support uh, these other causes. I'm not going to weigh in too much, but look, this is developing now. This is in the headlines today, and we all have to be aware of what's going on because if it accelerates and keeps accelerating, it will continue to impact oil prices. It will impact, um, you, know, you know, just pressures around the globe. And uh, so everyone, just please be diligent, be careful. You never know uh, what's going to happen, where an attack uh, could happen. Now, you think for a second that the United States is not vulnerable within our cities, within our communities. Look, we've talked about these immig the immigration crisis and, and the tens of thousands of, uh, of uh, not only illegal immigrants, but people from foreign countries that do not wish well for the United States. And look, you'd be naive to think that they're not setting up cells here to orchestrate something at their time of, of choosing. So we cannot assume that this is just something that's across the other side of the globe. So look, the market's sold off big again today, and it's no wonder. I mean, I know that the, some of the, the small cap stocks got hit big, cryptocurrencies got hit. Uh, gold and silver actually... This morning, I saw gold up $55 an ounce. It went to 2400 and uh, mid 2400s an ounce. And I saw silver almost hit $30 an ounce. It was up, it was up like $1.30, something like that per ounce. And then, you know, quickly, you know, well, well, it was running for about an hour and a half, two hours. And then it just got slammed. I think gold finished down $30. Silver finished uh, down just under $29. So big moves, big reversal. Why? Uh, you had major threats developing throughout the day. You had Iran threatening. You had the U.S. making, you know, making uh, accusations and, and warnings. So what happened? Stock market was selling off. The dollar was extremely strong. It, right now it closed today at 106 on the Dixie. That's a strong dollar index. And it was interesting to me that gold and silver were rallying with the dollar. The 10-year bond, uh, the yield fell, which meant there was a fear trade. People were, were pouring into uh, the, the treasuries, a safety flight, probably based upon the threats of a major escalation in the Middle East. So, you know, that, would, that typically is positive for metals and there was a reversal. So. You guys can, uh, you know, use your own judgment as to what happened. Um, take your best guess, but obviously we probably have some manipulation there. But look, end of the day, gold and silver have been putting on tremendous gains. These things cannot go parabolic every single day. There has to be some pullbacks, but it is a space that you you may want to, not financial advice, you may want to consider uh, holding some of these assets uh, for 
your, you know, I don't consider it, uh, you know, get rich, ske a quick scheme, but look, it, it is a, a way to maybe hedge your bet relative to something that is a not a traditional financial asset and has benefits to protecting, you know, yourself and your family, possibly do your own homework, do your own research. So I wanted to cover, I just want to come out and just, you know, rant for on a few things today about that. Um, I didn't see anything I specifically wanted to cover uh, in the news other than those, you know, fairly large ticket items. We know that the economic news continues to worsen uh, for everybody on Main Street. So everyone has to do their best. We're, we're now Friday. I always say this before a weekend. If you have some time this weekend, please spend time with loved ones. Please, you know, appreciate what you have and don't try to compare yourself to the Joneses. Please don't, uh, you know, run up credit cards at 22% interest and, and get into debt to impress people uh, with things that, you know, you can't afford. It's not really about that. You understand that? I mean, it's, it's the quality of life. It's health. We talk about this all the time. Health is wealth. I got a couple of negative comments on my video last time that, that a couple of guys were tired of hearing me, you know, repeat every day at the end of the videos about health and exercise and, and diet. And look, I kind of fired back on that. I did, didn't, I was not intending to get nasty, but I think it's a very, very important theme that we cover. And someone said, well, we don't care about what you do. I don't even talk about what I do for exercise. I just tell you guys I do it, that I'm actually walking the walk. I'm not just advising you what to do. I'm definitely not preaching. I'm definitely not, um, you know, telling you what to do. I'm suggesting that, you know, as a nation, we need to be healthier. We need to be more, more physically fit because look at nothing even has really bad happened yet. Believe it or not, uh, yes, things are going the wrong direction, uh, but there's been no truly bad events that are shutting down this country, uh, the grid, the, you know, just in time delivery, things like that. Food, water, resources, necessities. All these things are freely available, guys. Yeah, they're costing more. And yes, you should be stocking up on this stuff while you can. Think about some reserves, not only cash reserves, but food, water, security. We talk about this all the time on this channel. So I always like to use Friday as just kind of a summary day. Talk about you know, what's happening going into the weekend. There's obviously uncertainty right now in the markets because of this continued inflation and this and the layer on top of that is what's going to happen with the uh, the iran retaliation and what's it going to be where's it going to be how bad is it going to be so everyone keep watch on that i'll update you in the coming days i'm going to be a little bit sporadic on getting videos up i think in the coming week just because of my work schedule and right now it's just insane and i probably in addition to the projects i was working on today I probably have another, you know, 30 or 40 emails and calls. Of course, you understand Murphy's Law, you know, when it rains, it pours. Everybody wants everything done at once. Doesn't matter what your business is. I'm sure you experience this. So, uh, again, going back to exercise, when, you, when, you, when you're physically fit, you're able to uh, manage stress more effectively, uh, more efficiently. So one more reason why I would suggest that all of you please get those workouts in and, and work on that diet. Um, so if you think that's, or if you think that's me pontificating or telling you what to do, or you, you know, it bores you, then, I mean, obviously you can, you can click off, but I think everyone needs to be very, very mindful of this. So I'll leave it at about 13 minutes today. I did watch the first segment of Aaron over at Texas Silver, this first segment of the Bill Holter interview this morning while I was having some coffee on the patio. Uh, uh, really good first uh, first segment. I, I guess Aaron said he's doing uh, two or three or maybe even more than that segments with Bill Holter. He broke up the interviews. So it's good to see those guys hanging out over at Bill's place in Texas uh, at the ranch and, and talking about uh, some content and most importantly, you know, economics and, you know, and the, and, and the metals and what's going on with that. So um, again, Texas Silver, uh, Aaron's a friend of mine, uh, Jeremiah, uh, uh, and I visited him down in Texas a couple months, few months, several months ago now, uh, someone Jeremiah introduced me to. So check that out and uh, let's continue to share these videos. Please subscribe, please share, uh, was it like, subscribe. Uh, and, and share the videos with family, friends. I will be continuing to report as economic news unfolds, as stuff on the world front unfolds. With that being said, again, please have a, 
uh, safe. Have a healthy, wonderful weekend. I think I'll be able to get something uploaded either tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, my mom, by the way, is doing great. She's back, and uh, every every everything is fine. I always look at this. You know, when you have elderly people in your life, it's almost like the calm before the storm. My dad actually, uh, I think I did a video with him. Well, no, you guys saw a video I did with my dad several months ago at a car show. He was over in uh, Japan for the last two weeks, and he went over there. They did a cruise, and he had a, a really bad fall. I guess he dislocated his shoulder. Uh, he hit a, uh, slipped on a cobblestone or something path or a rock and probably were in the wrong shoes. And he went down, smashed his, smashed his shoulder, bruised himself up, sliced his arm, uh, made it back fine. But, you know, you know, as we get older, we become uh, frailer. Things happen. We're not able to recover and heal as fast. So, you know, I'm thankful that uh, everybody is, is, is stable right now. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. I guess my my pessimistic mind is always waiting for the other shoe to drop. Everyone, please take care of uh, elder ones, parents, loved ones. Uh, have a wonderful uh, weekend and stay safe, stay vigilant. Talk to all of you in the next day or so. Bye.